Hi, folks. This is Ada. Today, we are going to talk about elliptic curve discrete logarithm problem or shortly ECDLP. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. At a high level, the ECDLP involves finding the discrete logarithm of a point on an elliptic curve. Elliptic curves are mathematical structures used in cryptography that have different forms, such as the Weierstrass, Koblitz, and Edwards forms, which have different mathematical representations but are equivalent. In ACC, these curves are defined over a finite field, which consists of a finite set of numbers and operations for addition and multiplication. The discrete logarithm in the context of ECC is similar to the discrete logarithm problem in other cryptographic systems, such as the Diffie-Hellman key exchange or the digital signature algorithm, but it is performed on points on the elliptic curve instead of numbers in a finite field. More specifically, given a point P on an elliptic curve and another point Q that is a multiple of P, the ECDLP involves finding the integer K such that K times P is equal to Q. In other words, it requires finding the exponent k that, when applied to the base point p, results in the target point q. However, calculating q is easy if you know both k and p, as it can be efficiently computed using the double anad method, which involves doubling points and adding them together according to the binary representation of k. The time complexity of the double anad method is generally considered to be linear in the number of bits in k, making it an efficient algorithm for point multiplication in ECC. On the other hand, time complexity of ECDLP is generally considered to be exponential with respect to the number of bits in the size of the finite field or the order of the elliptic curve group. The security of ECC relies on the fact that finding the discrete logarithm on an elliptic curve is believed to be computationally difficult, meaning that there is no known efficient algorithm for solving it in general. As the size of the finite field or the order of the elliptic curve group increases, the computational effort required to solve the ECDLP grows exponentially. This is similar to the regular discrete logarithm problem in other cryptographic systems, such as the Diffie-Hellman key exchange or the digital signature algorithm, which involves finding the exponent of a base number that results in a given target number in a finite field. The main difference between the ECDLP and the regular discrete logarithm problem is the mathematical structure on which they are based. The ECDLP is based on the mathematical structure of an elliptic curve, which can be represented in different forms such as Weierstrass, Koblitz, or Edwards, while the regular discrete logarithm problem is based on the mathematical structure of a finite field. Elliptic curves offer certain advantages over finite fields in terms of efficiency and security, which makes ECC a popular choice for many modern cryptographic applications, especially in resource-constrained environments where computational efficiency is important. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.